Pelican cases are widely known to be the best of the best when it comes to any sensitive equipment storage, including and especially firearms. However, most of us don't have hundreds of dollars to throw down on expensive gun cases. A cheap alternative can be purchased surprisingly from Harbor Freight of all places. Their Apache line of gun cases isn't as good as Pelican, but it is more than adequate for most hobbyist and shooting sports enthusiast use cases. Let's face it, we might LARP, but we aren't actually jumping out of helicopters with these things. I would actually argue that the Apache gun case is better for the average civilian than Pelican because it is quite a bit lighter than its Pelican counterparts. This is a real consideration when it comes to flying with guns with airlines having fairly low weight limits. The cases themselves are extremely affordable as compared to Pelican, especially if you get catch one of their frequent sale prices. Um, I got this Apache 3800, which is perfect for transporting multiple pistols for only around 40. The Apache 3800 has a really solid plastic exterior. The plastic doesn't feel cheap. It is heavy, but not as heavy as a Pelican case. Still yet, it beats out anything you can buy at most big box sporting goods stores. The Apache 3800 features heavy duty clasps with reinforced eyelets for locking. This is extremely important as it prevents someone from breaking open the case very easily. That is a must have feature for any kind of air travel with firearms. The carry handle is rugged and it feels well made. This isn't going to break anytime soon. The Apache 3800 interior is very spacious. The height is perfect for storing handguns vertically, even full-size handguns with optics mounted, meaning that you can cut the foam in such a way that storing many pistols is more than possible. The foam included with the 3800 isn't great, and it's easily the worst thing about the case. It can be improved with a can of Plastidip, which I'll show you a little later in the video. The case itself is supposed to be fairly watertight, but I haven't tested this myself and can't speak to that. Let's talk about how to make the most of this case, however. As I just mentioned, the foam itself isn't great. It's very soft and won't last for very long. So we'll treat it with Plasti Dip later to give it a little more toughness and rigidity. Before we do that, though, we want to plan our general layout into the foam of the case. I'm going to be transporting up to four pistols in my case, so I roughly planned out how I wanted to lay this out. I decided to cut three slits vertically through the foam that would fit three full-size handguns and a more compact slit horizontally at the top of the foam for a subcompact handgun. I then wanted to cut a few squares that could either optionally hold ammo boxes or magazines. What you end up doing here is going to largely depend on your gear and your personal needs. For me, I set this up to be ideal for competitive shooting matches and cross-country training classes. Many people suggest marking the foam with a china marker in order to ensure clean lines. I didn't do that because I didn't have one on hand. And to be honest, it shows in the final product. It's just a gun case, so I don't care if it's not a beauty queen, but the job I did definitely could have been prettier had I taken the time to do that. The foam comes in multiple layers, so you're going to have to cut down into it. I would keep the top and bottom thin layers intact and only cut the middle layers. This way you have padding on the top and bottom of the case still. I ended up cutting as I went without marking the outline, so things turned out a bit crooked. Just the same, I cut the foam in the wrong place at one point and had to glue it, so I'm not super proud of the job, but the case is still very functional, even if not pretty. The final step is to plastidip the foam inserts. This adds rigidity to the foam, and it'll extend the lifetime of the foam itself. I would spray as many layers as you can until you run out of Plastidip in the can. The layers have to cure for 30 minutes before you can lay another layer down. For the Apache 3800, I was able to get around 8 layers out of the can. Let the foam inserts cure for another 24 to 48 hours after the last layer is applied. Your gun case is now good to go. Just like that, you have something comparable to a Pelican gun case at likely a quarter of the price. If you like this video, you're going to love our next one, where I'll go over the other best gun deals you can get at Harbor Freight.